Up to this point, I've tried three of the four Marauders. The Kronos being probably one of my least favorite up to this point. The Varger and the Golem are just, by far, just put the other two just way down the list. I'm going to go over the fit that I've been using for the Kronos in this video and just kind of talk about my experiences with it. I've been mainly just ratting with this ship, Nullsec ratting sites. I usually do that as a baseline for pretty much anything that I'm trying. And the Kronos being, it operates just like any other Marauder, as you'd expect. The weapon systems are, they have faster application than, say, like the Golem in terms of, like, not having to wait for, like, flight time. But overall, it's just a little bit weaker on the actual speed. Pretty much everything that I've run the Kronos through, being Sanctums, Havens, or even, like, 8 of 10s, it just performs it feels like it goes faster, but at the end of the day, it just runs everything slower. Just because of like how the weapons and everything are. The one thing I will say though, as far as it being armor tanked, there's a lot less going on for the ship than like say the Golem that has to run hardeners and an oversized booster and things like that. Really for this ship, we're running an armor repair and some plates and as far as just active modules, there's a lot less to actually worry about. So if you're newer to probably ratting and you are not really good necessarily at being reactive in the sense of like, you know, activating modules to do this and that and all that, I think it's a little bit more new or new bro friendly in that case. But definitely as just maybe like a starting point. Like, I mean, if you're getting into Marauders and you want something that's just simple, straightforward, then it's probably a good place to start. When you start getting into more advanced stuff and you're ready to do like more advanced active tank schemes, then you're going to be wanting to get into the like Varger or something like the Golem that just has a little bit more efficiency. But I'll take this out to just a random rat um, anomaly and we'll like let you know, let's see it in action. Obviously, with everything, you know, it can be fit in many different ways, but this is kind of the baseline of how I've, you know, been using this ship more recently I'm using a 425 railgun twos I was actually really interested in actually doing railguns it's you want good railgun action is gonna be like sniping for in most cases you're not gonna be in situations where you can snipe and when you're bastioned it's one thing to run like a tech 2 battleship and be sniping because you can kind of start moving away from the target and you can keep them kind of in line behind you but when you turn on the bastion module, then you have to kind of, when they close in on you, you got to turn bastion off and then micro jump further out. And it's just, you end up getting really far away from where like your rat spawns would be and things like that. And that's just kind of the nature of the beast. And just like with frigates here, like, you know, once they, these frigates get up on top of us, that's essentially why we're running Hornet 2s because they're just going to help with the overall smaller ship stuff. Because the tracking on the railguns is just really bad, right? You need to be really far out and have the rats or players or whoever it is running straight at you so that you can effectively apply damage. Going a little bit more down the fit, um, improved cloaking device. That's literally just for like convenience. If I'm running like an 8 of 10 and I'm in between pockets or whatever the case may be, if I want to take a break, instead of warping out to like a pause or whatever the case, I can just kind of cloak up, you know, AFK, come back and things like that. So it's really just uh, kind of a convenience piece. You can put pretty much anything you want there, but there isn't a whole lot of decent options in that. And then you have the Bastion module, obviously. The Marauders are very mediocre without them, so definitely a requirement. I think it's one of the better modules of its type. If you're running like triage modules or um, siege modules or anything like that, that are pretty steep in their, their cooldown or the locked in the the bash mode was great because it's only like 30 seconds and you can turn it off and on it's nothing compared to like a five minute or even a minute to two and a half minute siege timer that's why i kind of prefer the marauders even in null sec i'll bash it up and if something does happen i know i have 30 seconds max that i'd be locked down in any case drone link augmenter one or two actually is just to help with the the rats getting kind of control. If I'm, I'm out there really far away, like sniping with these drill guns, it allows the 
it just allows me to like reach out a little bit further from myself and that's really what the hornets are for essentially they're really just there to worry about frigates small tractor beam that is also for DED sites in terms of looting so if you're doing like an 8 of 10 you can kill the main commander at the end and tractor beam hit the wreck and loot it and kind of take off it's having the tractor beam allows you to blitz essentially for our mid powers it's pretty simple we're using three cat recharger twos just you know we want our sales to be cap stable when we're running our armor repair and then the large micro jump drive i've kind of talked about already a little bit if you're trying to kite especially in like a dd um, eight to ten seven to ten then it allows you to come out of bastion kind of align in a different direction warp out a hundred bastion up again and get that distance required to really compensate for the tracking low power got damage control just good business for uh, resistance this we've got one large arm repair too so you can tell it's just tech two tank and then we have the stabilizer twos and then two 800 millimeter steel plate twos the rig slides have got two large trimark armor pumps just for more armor hit points i'm running tech two ammo so javelin l spike l you can run faction ammo if you want it really just kind of depends on how you want to do things but i've found in in this situation it works out pretty well i do feel like i have to reload a lot more with this ship as opposed to like the varger or the marauder as far as the amount of time i'm reloading versus how much or how fast i'm clearing the field and one thing you want to do too is you'll want to actually go in here and configure your alert settings because it being an armor tank your shield's going to be low as you can see the armor repair is actually pretty decent you could modify it a little bit to run t uh, a dual rep but in my testing it's just i don't think it's needed i think one large tech 2 armor repair is is really all you need if you're running 8 of 10 maybe you might get a little low maybe in the 70s so maybe a dual rep will make you feel a little more comfortable but the, th the real big thing about 8 of 10s and stuff like that, there's a lot of cruisers and destroyers on the field. So if you have all your guns separated out, so you have all four of them out, you're going to clear the field pretty quick. So after a couple of minutes in each pocket, you're going to stabilize and you just won't, you'll get to the point where you won't need a dual rep, in my opinion. I'll go, just let's look at the numbers here real quick while I'm finishing up this site and all this is simulated simulated at bastion um so i'm looking at about 1600 dps really it's like 1470 um and then drones at about 92 drones are just very you we're not going to calculate drones into your actual overall dps because really the drones are there just to help with frigates so don't rely on those guys too much i think if you're really new to like active tanking during stuff and like you know turning modules on and off at certain times like if you really just want like some simplicity where it's just like turn the marble repair on and just shoot guns then i think this would be probably a good starting point but that'll be it for this video so hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next one peace out